in the spring when the first lockdown happened, we were very much caught on the back foot in terms of what we were able to offer. And once we'd looked at where we needed to go, we realised we needed support in finding the best way forward, applied for the programme and um, were paired up with the Ribblesdale Consortium. And it was Paul Edge from Ribblesdale who supported us. So Paul very much helped me to develop a pathway moving forwards of putting steps in place to, for us to be able to have the platform rolled out in a way that both let the teachers learn what they needed to do and brought the children along with them. So what we didn't do is jump straight in and start trying to use all the features of Microsoft Teams. We we developed with, with Paul a step-by-step -step approach so the teachers could become confident with an aspect, teach that to the children, use it in the classroom, and then when the children did unfortunately have to be out of school, there was something there already. So from, from initial steps of using the basics and building up through the term. Something that was really crucial and, and, and an idea that developed um, with Paul was teaching the children in school how to work when they weren't in school. So we came up with the idea of having at least half term late, we call it remote learning days in school. So we run a whole day of learning for a year group in the way that it would work if they were at home and the teachers and the teaching assistants basically take the role of the parent and, and coach the child through it rather than delivering the learning. So it's about the children learning the technology. And that's really stood us in good stead, particularly early on when, when we had bubble closures, but especially so now with a full lockdown, in that the children have learned the skills and actually are teaching the parents. And that that kind of that idea that developed from a conversation as part of the programme really set us up. I think what this has done moving forwards is put us in a position where it's put technology more at the forefront of what we're doing. I think for us as a school um, in recent years, it probably hadn't been a priority for us. And so we were playing a little bit of catch up in that sense when necessity made us make better use of things. What, what we've got now is a staff that are more confident in using technology in both in delivering in the classroom, but in, in wider aspects of, of their role. And I think in terms of use of technology within the classroom and um, use of technology to support homework, and that sort of thing. It's something that will become a much more integral part of what we're doing. The, ne the necessities made us develop our skills and develop what we're doing, and it's, we can use that now to enhance our provision in, in a lot of ways. A child, a child in, in the chat will post a question about them being stuck on something in particular in maths, and before the teachers had a chance to respond, three or four children have, have you tried this, look at that, and it, it's really built in a way that you wouldn't have expected because you think of it as being isolated collaboration in terms of their working, which has been really pleasing too. I think that um, the people that have learned the most have been the teachers, and I think they've been the most important learners through this because children just pick, have just picked it up. And some of the staff have really had to kind of put some effort in to learn something new. And for some, it's been a little bit of, oh, am I going to break it? Am I going, you know, not having that confidence. Others have just picked it up and run with it, and they've really supported each other. But coming from an idea from Paul of rolling things out slowly, what we tried to do was kind of try things in a year group or try things with a teacher and then make that year group or that teacher the expert in an aspect and roll that out through the school. And that it's not necessarily something I would have done, but limiting the way it moved forwards has really helped to build people's confidence. And we wouldn't have had that without this this plan of kind of the, the roadmap, the pathway that, that developed through the programme. So that, that definitely was really useful.